Hello everyone, and welcome to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. This mission is called Turbulence, and I am Master Baker Gaming, or Master Baker Gamer, whichever you prefer, and I will be walking you through this level. As I said, it is Turbulence. It is a pretty cool mission. There are two achievements, three if you include the veteran. Uh, you get, get one achievement just for beating it, and you can get another in-game mission, which of course, like I always do, I will point out to you. Now, the first, oh, I don't know, two minutes, I'd say, minute, maybe, is a cutscene that you just follow. I mean, it's, you don't really have to do, you just follow President Vershevsky, or something like that, and his lovely daughter, who, as far as video game characters go, looks like she's attractive. And, you know, you just chill with all these other guys. I, I'm not going to fill you in on what they're discussing. I actually skip over what they discuss, so that way no spoilers are in this video. Just, you know, you're in a plane with a lot of presidential people, and then they're talking, but I skip over the discussion, and all of a sudden, oh my god, the plane, that's gunfire, the hijackers are taking the plane, the cockpit's been breached, oh no, make sure to protect the, the president, so just gotta walk over here, you do a lot of falling, like, well not falling, but the turbulence, hence the name, pushes you a lot, so right here, three people open up the door, or come in the door, boom, you... Blind your eyes, that guy takes care of that, and then just kind of shoots straight out of the door, like I do. And I'm playing on veterans, so of course, one bullet means I get hurt a lot. Make sure to pick up one of the guns. Make sure to pick up one of the guns. Because the in-game achievement is right through here. Make sure to reload before you go through these doors. And then here is how you get the achievement, flight attendant. You have to kill all five of these people, or all five of the bad guys, in the in the slow motion, no gravity situation. There's two, there's three, there's four, and then as I reload my gun, there is five on the left, shoot, 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 and I get flight attendant achievement for 20 gamer score. It's, that, that's a pretty cool achievement as far as the achievements go in this game. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite achievements. Now the first intel, there are two intel on this map, or in, on this mission, in this mission, and it's directly right down here. As soon as you get past the zero gravity, go down the stairs, and right there to the right, there it is. And then there's a lot of guys, then you just turn around and walk straight, and there's two guys there, kill them, and then more come, of course, because, you know, it would be a very good mission if the bad guys just stopped coming. And, yeah, you just kill these people. Eventually, you'll start proceeding... Well, I pro start proceeding, this guy there, die. And then, I don't know why I decided to go with my pistol. I guess I felt like being badass or something. Because, yeah, just, this is a pretty powerful pistol, too. I mean, two shots is a death. I mean, that's pretty good. And then there's, make sure, I accidentally did this mission before, but I had to re-record re re it because I shot. Elena, or Elena, that girl, I shot, and I was like, oh, oops, I killed her. So wait until he throws her, and then just shoot him. It's a lot easier. And then get that guy, and then run up to Elena, or Elena, whichever you prefer. Depends on what side of the country, I guess, you're from. And then, hello, Elena, Elena, whatever, uh, Elena. And then a little cutscene happens, and he opens the door. And this part doesn't really matter if you shoot them or not. Just make sure to stay out of the way. I shoot. But it doesn't really matter. As you can tell, I just kind of sprayed, try to get them if I could. Because you, your plane crashes, and they go flying off anyway. So it's like, bye-bye, adios. And you just kind of, yeah, I was just kind of seeing where I was at. And look at that little beautiful plane crash. It's amazing, isn't it? I'm pretty sure, to quote Rooster Teeth, that in every Call of Duty game, there has to at least be one plane that crashes. At least or one, like, crash scene. Because in Modern Warfare 2, it was that helicopter. And in 1, in Modern Warfare 1, I'm pretty sure it was another helicopter. I mean, at least at least they went different in this one. They went with a airplane instead of a helicopter. But, yeah, the second intel is pretty close. Pretty close to here. But this guy just helps you up. And I skip over this scene because you just follow him. You limp a lot. So I skip over that, and then here you are. This is your second intel. You just follow the guy. You can't go wrong. And then once you jump over this log, straight to the right is the intel. And I started, I got blown up, so I didn't look at it because I was afraid it hurt me. But there is the second intel of the mission, the last intel of the mission, or the 13th intel overall. I thought that was a bad guy. I'm not sure why. So yeah, and from here, 
you pretty much this is pretty the this is much basically the last part of the mission. You just have to run up here to that hill and then fight off the ambush of bad guys. I switch out my pistol for this ACOG weapon because uh, it makes it a little bit easier. You don't have to, just one of my preferences. And I am a huge strategic player because I'm a veteran, so I run up here to the higher ground because it's easier. And I don't think they see you from see you up here because I didn't get shot at all that often. Okay, as I say that, a grenade like blew up in front of me. But hey, whatever, you know, whatever. And make sure to kill that gunner out on first because he will he does see you, as I found out. So yeah, make sure to kill him, and then I just threw a grenade over there, and boom, bye bye. Kill them. Then after about, oh, I'd say 30 seconds of just killing people, there shouldn't be that many left. Well, I guess it depends on how fast or how quickly you kill people. But as you can tell, I've killed them relatively quickly, so I, then you can just start walking down. There's a guy to the left. Almost got blown up. And then there are those guys, and then that's where you go through, and that's pretty much the end of the mission that you can control once you walk through there. Because you just shoot these guys, and yeah, that whole guy in Last Stand, the Last Stand people always piss me off, I never see them. And then from here, don't shoot at these guys, because they'll die anyway. Which is fun. And then just go over there, stand out of the way, and this part's a little glitchy. The first time I recorded this, the helicopter door never allowed me to open it, like it didn't highlight itself, which is depressing. So I had to re-record it all, but this time it did. So if you get to this point and the helicopter d door does not do what it does right now, that if it doesn't do that, then you have to restart the mission. It is a huge pain in the butt. And Makarov, oh no. No, 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 not the face, not the face. Boom. Oh. Damn, that would hurt. it would hurt so much to get shot. Just saying. And they kill everyone, and spoiler alert, they kidnap the president. And there's a nice little cutscene, <clears throat> and this is pretty much the end of the end of the mission. So yeah, thank you guys. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, I will hopefully have put up another post another video this week, uh, another mission. I am trying to get one mission per week. It's I don't know, it's kind of a long shot. But yeah, so thanks for watching. I will leave you with the ending of this little cutscene and the final achievement. You get shot and you finish the mission and you got 10 gamer score for frequent flyer beating it on any difficulty level. So yeah, this is Master Baker Gaming and thank you for watching Turbulence Mission on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Have a great time guys, see ya.